Year 2, The Rule of Mariguana. First of Granite, 1052. I came to this dump looking for a royal fortress. Instead, I found this hole in the dirt complete with useless hillbillies. There's not one good crafter among this lot, and I hear there'll be a whole troop of unskilled immigrants coming in from the homelands any time now. Better stick to the basics and gather some food so we don't all die. Pull the damn lever! Oh, no. I didn't think they'd be coming this early. Third of Felsite, 1052. Some blockhead is holding my carpenter's shop hostage and demanding shells and wood. I've ordered the worthless immigrants to go fishing. Who knows, maybe one of them will find a dead turtle on the riverbank. Seventh of Felsite, 1052. Ah, nothing gets you going in the morning quite like a delicious syrup roast. It sticks right to the bones. Dwarven Syrup Roast This is a stack of 18 Dwarven Syrup Roasts. The ingredients are minced longland grass seeds, minced longland grass seeds, minced horse meat, and minced Dwarven Syrup. Sixth of Hematite, 1052 Remember that nutty dwarf who took over my shop? Well, he finally found what he was looking for, and now he's made a legendary table that he calls Sound Syrup. He drew some scary werewolves on the thing, but it's still pretty nice. Assuming we can ever get him to drop it, this will be great for our dining room. Vodudib Sound Syrup This is a mahogany table. All craft storeship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of kapok and turtle shell. This object is adorned with hanging rings of mahogany. On the item are images of werewolves in Kapok. Twelfth of Hematite, 1052. Today, one of our apprentice carpenters fell asleep on the bridge and was swept away by a flood, never to be seen again. On the same day, the metalsmith gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Doran Clearing Silvers. Also, Mandrill stole several objects we had lying around outside, but nothing important. Just a few bits of clothing and an iron helmet. First of Malachite, 1052. We have so much food that it's becoming a bother to store it all. I've reassigned most of my dwarves to work on the secret project. 17th of Malachite, 1052. A farmer tried to organize a party in the statue garden when everyone needed to be working, so I locked the bastard in there. I hope he enjoys partying alone damn snakemen. They came out of nowhere and mauled one of my masons. Why did it have to be one of the useful dwarves? Now he'll never work again. 24th of Galena, 1052. We finally have enough housing for all those freeloader immigrants. It's a good thing, too. They were getting restless, and restless dwarves soon become angry dwarves. 12th of Limestone, 1052. One of my jewelers got possessed during summer. It is now autumn, and only now did I figure out what he was asking for. Raw crystal glass. I got it made for him, with a bit of effort, and he took that and several rough gems and made an amulet called Necro Clearings. Sure has a lot of spikes. Ugith Dostob, Necro Clearings, a red spinel amulet. This is a red spinel amulet. All craft worship is of the highest quality. This object menaces with spikes of red spinel, aquamarine, crystal glass, and green glass. 24th of Limestone, 1052. Secret project completed. When enemies try and siege our beloved boat murdered, we can retract the main bridge by pulling the lever in the southwest corner of our statue garden. This will force them to walk through the southern gallery, where we will fire upon them mercilessly with two ballistae to the east. If, for some reason, we need to drain the water, pulling the northwest lever in the statue garden will accomplish this. 26th of Limestone, 1052. The dwarven traders are back. I gave them some junk that the previous overseer left here in exchange for quite a bit of meat. 4th of Timber, 1052. It's late in autumn now, and another damn immigration has arrived. Why didn't anyone tell me about this? I had everything nice and neat and, oh, just forget it. I always knew I was destined for misery. 7th of Timber, 1052. The lengths my brewers and threshers were traveling to get barrels was really starting to annoy me, and so I've made the immigrants move all furniture indoors. 27th of Timber, 1052. 
We've tunneled new rooms for the fall immigrants. It's taken quite a long time to get the place furnished, though. Winter has come. Thankfully, we have more than enough beer and food to last. Here's a map of the fortress as it is now. Fourth of Moonstone, 1052. We're getting overrun with animals. I think I need a butcher or two to sort this problem out. Twelfth of Moonstone, 1052. By the gods, another jeweler is possessed. I hope this asshole doesn't want crystal glass too. Twenty-sixth of Moonstone, 1052. The jeweler has finished his artifact. Behold, the bronze mist, a green glass portal. Kil Rousseaud, the bronze mist. This is a green glass portal. All craft store ship is of the highest quality. This object is adorned with hanging rings of pigtail and menaces with spikes of green glass, rose quartz, and limestone. On the item are images of flies in limestone. 16th of Opal, 1052. It's midwinter. I am pleased to note that the immigrant housing is completed. I have also constructed an armory for our future defense force, near the barracks, with a stockpile in the south for weapons and a stockpile in the north for armor. 8th of Obsidian, 1052. The poor mason who was ambushed by snakemen died of thirst today. He's been refusing to eat or drink because he was so depressed. 19th of Obsidian, 1052. The mandrels came back, but this time we got them. Sure, they ripped a craftsman to pieces, but we got every last one of them. Mandrel hats, anyone? Spring has arrived. It is granite first, 1053. With that and the final map of the fortress, I bid farewell to the outpost of boat murdered and wish the best of luck to my successor.